The wonderful thing about a Grace Box is that you're not just buying a package of random items. Instead, you're giving or receiving hand-selected artisan food from local producers that will help you create a beautiful centerpiece for any get-together. In other words, you get delicious food that looks pretty too. Best of all, we've made it really easy to assemble a Grace Box in a way that will wow your guests, and I'm gonna walk you through that right now. Now that you've opened up your box, go ahead and lay out your items. I usually put the meat and cheese off to the side and grab the cowboy candy and the jam. You can do two, display this two ways. You can either put the jam and the cowboy candy into ramekins that you have around the house, looks a little bit prettier, or you can put them just directly onto the board in this jar or in the mason jar. I, like I said, prefer to use these pretty jars. So go ahead and dish it into the container. What's nice about the box is that you're gonna get a lot more jam than you're gonna need for, for the board, so you can go ahead and save it for later. Get the cowboy candy, which is a candied pickled jalapenos. The guys really like this. Go ahead and take the honey. This honeycomb is great on all of the cheese and meat that we have in the box. Just try to keep it away from the kids. They'll eat it whole and there'll be nothing left for your guests. Next, you're gonna open up the cheese. This Montina cheese comes with a small rind on it, but it's really easy. It's just a wax rind and you can just peel it off like that. Nobody wants to take a bite of cheese and have wax in their teeth. And I usually position this in one of the corners and I leave it whole, I don't cut it. It's a real great statement piece and it's very easy to cut with a, um, with a cheese knife. The next is the um, cranberry chev, cranberry cinnamon chev. And this is obviously a soft goat cheese. And so I just cut open one side and squeeze it directly onto the board like this. It may look a little messy, but as I like to say when I'm putting my boards together, it's organized chaos. You can go ahead and save that for later as well. Next, you wanna take the coffee crusted lonza, which is a coffee crusted pork loin. It's delicious. And instead of just laying it flat on the board, you're given a skewer like so, a little ball on the end. You wanna fold the meat over and put it onto the skewer like so, making it look like the ribbon candy that we grew up with. This tastes delicious with the cranberry chev, and so I like to place it right next to it so people know that they pair well together. Next, you're gonna take the salami and you're gonna slice it. You wanna make sure that it is sliced thin and not too thick so that when people are taking a bite, they're not you know, biting into a salami stick. I like to try it to make sure it's good. And it's good. I also stack the salami like this in a row and then I wrap it around one of the dishes. That way, as people are taking one or two or three pieces, it doesn't all fall apart. Lastly, we have the dried flathead cherries. I go ahead and put these next to the Montina cheese. It pairs great. The last thing in your box is edible flowers, which I like to put over the honey and a little bit on the cheese. This is everything that comes in the box and I'm gonna show you how to spice it up with some things that you already have in your cupboard. Now that we've put together everything that came in the box, we're gonna round out the board 
with fresh items that you probably already have in your cupboard or fridge. This is what I found in my fridge. Grapes, figs, some beautiful cucumbers that you can get year round, some nuts, raisins, and some dried oranges. The great thing about using fresh items on the board is that it really lightens up everything. Since everything that comes in the box is cured, we want to mix up the textures and the flavors. So go ahead and take your grapes and put them on. Cucumbers, like I said, are great. The vibrancy of the green is wonderful. And it is also a palate cleanser. So when you are going from different flavors, it's a great way to start over and try something new. Take the nuts. Figs, beautiful figs. These are hard to find, but if you can find them fresh, that's great. Or you can use dried as well. Those do well in your cupboard and keep forever. Here are some raisins and some candied oranges. Go ahead and lastly, put the crackers on your board. I like to use a couple of different kinds for texture and for flavor. And we also provide dried floral. You can go ahead and arrange it into the corners of the board like so. This really adds a wow factor. And if you would prefer to use fresh florals, we recommend going to your local florist and picking up whatever's in season, whether it's eucalyptus, roses. Really, it's up to you. It's your design. Bon appetit.